Could you show me how to dip a phrase in poison? Twist the resin of your words into a weapon, part the earth with every parting of your lips. Could you show me how you once killed a grown man just by not kissing him? You mouth holding a swarm of locusts. You jaw cradling sound in its pistol grip, teeth still rattling, ready to unleash ten nights of plague against the next arrogant pharaoh who looks your way. You witch's tongue. Dealing out double servings of toil for your trouble. Brewed from spirits so toxic, everything already tastes like hangover. Like your breath is being haunted by the night before. Specters of past lives when your skin dripped with fingerprints that didn't belong to you, and your spine only knew how to lie still. Is this when you decided you wanted to be the ghost story and not the ghost? Is this when you built yourself this scarecrow body these feet facing both of the wrong directions, arms carving out a clock hand silhouette, one wrist pointed towards Polaris, the other pressing its palm against tomorrow, eyes stuck somewhere between shell shock and flame, expression sealed shut like a bank vault no one has ever tried breaking into, creased lips the lock, rum and coke and the lonely side of the night the key, tell me. Now that you've replaced your feathers with straw, do you feel protected? Are you any less afraid of the dark? Or men who steal your blood? Or men who act like wolves? Do you still keep garlic in your pockets and silver bullets squeezed between middle and fourth finger? Do you ever get tired of freezing yourself into a gargoyle just so you can sleep free of demons? Do you ever think there might be more to fear than just fists or flight? Might be more to the rose's strength than just her thorns? Petals, too, are a kind of armor. Blossoming in winter is a kind of prayer. If I met you before you transformed, what could I say? That you don't have to fight with your own topography, the way flame fights with smoke for clout, the way they snatch the air out of each other's throats just so that neither gets to breathe longer than the other, that you don't have to cut out your heart just to spite your name, that there's no right way to unlearn the body's lineage, and anyway, this rebuilding is an ancient business. You're not the first girl to choke and spit out the word vulnerable. We call it safer this way, this place where we exchange softness for steely-eyed half-smile, for nervous laugh and bitch face and pepper sprayed across the parking lot, and you are so good at dreaming up revenge when you're alone in bed, but how far can that get you on your feet? I'm asking you to reconcile the anger you are owed with the joy you need. I promise they're gonna learn to fear you whether you look like a monster or not. They're gonna shudder at your smile because thunder has to come after this much shine. And when your bolt strikes, it won't split like a pistol shot. This rain won't taste like vengeance and rage. It'll hit warm and natural and glowing and everywhere. And there won't be a ghost left to tell the story.